Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, the concept here is what to do with a negative exponent. When you see a negative sign on a power, like a negative three in this first example, what that means is that you have to change the location of what is being done to the negative power. In other words, two x is actually two x over one, and that's on the top of a fraction the way it is now. The negative three power, the negative any power, makes you move it to the different location. Instead of the top of the fraction, now it's going to be the bottom of the fraction. So, it is going to be 1 over 2x to the third power. So the power now becomes positive. Now just to finish this problem, the third power on the outside applies to the 2 and to the x. And so my final simplified answer would be 1 over 8x to the third. So negative power puts the um, subject of the power in a different place in the fraction. Now in this second example, only the y is to the negative 2 power. So the way you would rewrite this expression, x would stay on the top, 3 would stay on the bottom, but the y squared, now to the positive 2 power, goes on the bottom. So the negative power puts it in a different location. Third example, the whole fraction is to the negative power. Notice the parentheses. If it's already a fraction and you're raising it to a negative power, the quickest and the simplest way of thinking about it is to flip the fraction, write the reciprocal. So we would have 4y on the top and 3x on the bottom, and all of that is now raised to the second power, which would be 4 squared y squared on the top and 3 squared x squared on the bottom. And final answer, to simplify it, would be 16y squared over 9x squared. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.